What's up my party people? So today what we're gonna do is go through another tutorial about dot sum function. I know it's pretty confusing. There's dot map, there's dot reduce, there's dot find for each. When do you use which one? Oh my God, I'm going crazy. I'm going to give you some clarity as to when to use dot sum function. It's pretty interesting. It returns a Boolean value, but we'll go through that and I'll show you why it's much better to use dot sum. So as you can see, let's go into the Mozilla website. I love going here. You know, you can read about the function get you know some pretty good information the dot sum method tests whether at least one element in the area passes the test implemented by the provided function and it returns a boolean value so as you can see he's going through an array goes from one to five this is his function he's going to check you know the modulus operator and then the result of that if it equals zero stores it in this const even and then he's going to pass that and then over here that's the function being run when sum uh, does his execution. So let's see it in action. Let's create an array um, Let's say a user array So in the real world an example of using this would be when you know you have a list of users coming back to you You want to filter through the users See if that user already exists and that boolean return from some you would take action uh, depending on what you get back. So let's create this and username, for example, and then the first one will be Sam. And let's just copy and paste because I don't want to type. Copy and paste that, change that, and then Sam, Method Man, uh, who else? Jay Z, Marilyn Manson, and uh, Bob. The last one will be just some normal name like Bob. So let's create our sum function. So const user exists equals user array dot sum dot sum and then let's get each of our user let's put some curly braces i'm gonna add a debugger so you guys can see as it scrolls through and you know return user dot username equals let's say bob take care too so you guys could see the result and let's run it so now as you can see it goes through it finds method man but that's not who we're looking for we're looking for bob sam nope jay-z nope marilyn manson nope bob so now you can see it returns a true and bob's your uncle see what i did there oh my god that just fit in so sweet that just fit in so sweet was that even a proper sentence now you may be wondering Kaz why don't we just use a for each statement and that's totally true we can actually do that but your code would be much more sizable so let's show you how that would look first we have to make a global variable so user exists just the same way we have one over here and let's set it to false initially and then we have to create our function function does user exist and inside of that we're passing an array and with that array we're going to do the for each and we're going to go through every user and if user dot username is equal to bob set user exists to true and remember to always set user exists to false at the start because the user may call this multiple times. Let's prettify and let's run the function. Does user exist? Let's pass in our array and let's see console um, dot log user exists. And let's run that debugger and let's see the result and as you can see there it is you get true we could change it to be wolverine and you'll get false so now you're getting the same result as before however as you can see the amount of code that it takes to do this as opposed to how it looks over here it's much more efficient and useful for the team if you have something like this because it's much more cleaner as opposed to this this could grow into something totally ugly that could wreak some extreme habit to you 
and your team. So hopefully that's given you some clarity as to when to use dot sum. It's basically when you want to just get a boolean back and then from that boolean you'll do something with it. It's a quick way to filter through your array and try to see if something exists. I love it. I use it all the time and hopefully you could use it in your projects now that you understand how to use dot sum. So like if you like the video and dislike if you ain't getting some. Has, that was so inappropriate.